New Zealand rugby plots to bring Richie Mwanga home early from his Japanese sabbatical. New Zealand rugby power brokers have declared a strong desire to bring Richie Mwanga home early from his Japan contract. This could happen as early as next year. My biggest question, what does this mean for Damien McKenzie? Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love getting back to all your comments, replying to all them. Let me know what are your thoughts on this? What do you think this means for Damien McKenzie? What does this mean for the eligibility rules of New Zealand rugby? Um, are they going to pick outside of New Zealand players, outside of New Zealand rugby, or are they going to keep it like that? That's why they want to bring Wonga back. Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. New Zealand Herald are reporting that New Zealand rugby are strongly considering bringing Richie Mwanga back from Japan so he can be eligible to play for the All Blacks. Mwanga is contracted to Toshiba in the Japan League One for three years worth 2.2 million New Zealand dollars, I'm guessing, per season. Makes him one of the highest paid players in the world. Obviously now with Razor as all Blacks coach, his relationship with Moanga like that, and what the Herald are reporting as a lack of depth in the fly-off position. They are looking at ways to move Moanga out of his contract before it runs out in 2026. This, like the lack of depth one, for me, is tough. Like when Moanga was there, and they, they didn't really like... Who was, the, who was the the reserve 10 then? They had guys that could fill in. Bowden Barrett, um, uh, Damien McKenzie. Now you've got Bowden Barrett that's come back from Japan already. He's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's this year that he's back. Damien McKenzie's playing the best rugby of his life at fly-off. He's the, one, the best super rugby player at the moment at fly-off. Yes, if, if Damien McKenzie gets injured... Like, Pedro Feta, not there. He's injured at the moment. Brett Cameron, Hurricanes have been playing out of their skin, led by someone like Brett Cameron. The 10 is always the guy showing, marshalling the troops around. And Brett Cameron has been outstanding for them. At what point are you going to have to start rewarding guys that are sticking it out, staying in New Zealand? Um, and, like, Brett Cameron has played for the All Blacks already. Why can't you give him another shot? This is not a stick, not a shot or anything like that at someone like Moanga um, that goes over and gets that good money. I'm all for the good money, man. Set up your family. He did say there his reason for leaving, I think was something different, try something else, but to set his family up. How good? Lester Fanganuku as well went over to the Toulon, set his family up. How good? They know the rules. They know or the eligibility rules. If you leave, you can't play for the All Blacks. Yes, in the future when you come back and you're contracted again, all good. Um, New Zealand Rugby's GM of Pro Rugby, Chris Lindrum, I think that's how you say it, said on a podcast recently, so he said on the Rugby Direct podcast, New Zealand Rugby General Manager of Pro Rugby, Chris Lindrum, revealed, conversations are ongoing to try and entice the 56 test playmaker home early. In quotes, it's no secret New Zealand rugby were sorry to see Richie leave. At the time, he did, and we would like him back, Lindrum told Rugby Direct. You can imagine we've been talking to Richie and others while they're offshore. Plan A is to get him back on a full-time contract as soon as we can. That involves working with his agent. Asked specifically about Moanga coming home early, Lindrum said that's a contractual matter and we work through that with his agent and himself. I know Richie would love to pull on the black jersey again. We have to see what that can be or when that can be. Then you work back from there. Like, like he's only, he's still young. 20, 2026, his contract's done. Like, at, at some point you have to let, you have to blood the other guys, bring the other guys in. If you, It's either that or you scrap the law that you have in place and let anyone, let the guys be overseas and then they can still play for the All Blacks or have a 
certain you must have a certain amount of test games in place and then you can go overseas and still be eligible for the All Blacks. It works nicely for the Springboks. It works nicely for the Springboks. Um, he also said, Lindrum also said, we'd love Richie home as soon as, as soon as we can. There are contracts. We respect those. He's employed by Toshiba currently, but will be involved in conversations to see what is possible. The Herald understands Moonga does not have an exit clause in his Toshiba contract. As we, when he signed at the back end of 2022, his desire was to set up his family. Love it. Go for it. Get that money, man. Get that money. You can't play rugby forever. Get the money. If you can get the money, get the money, man. Robertson, so that's Razor and Moanga share a tight-knit relationship to the point that Robertson called Moanga his quarterback after claiming seven Super Rugby titles with the Crusaders. So Razor and Moanga's relationship is obviously tight. Razor wants his man. He wants his man back. I get it. I get it. He's also. We've also recently seen. Uh, New Zealand rugby put in place that David Alvili run a few games at 10 for the Crusaders. They're obviously looking at different options. Um, but man, what does this what does this say to DMAC? To someone like Damien McKenzie? He was not mentioned once in this article. Like there's talk of getting Moanga back. They really want him back. Lack of depth was another word or sentence thrown around in there. Like Damien McKenzie's been playing. The best rugby of his life at 10. He said before the season as well, he's putting his hand up for that 10 jersey for the All Blacks. Like I get if he gets injured, like who do you bring in? But you've got Brett Cameron. He's been capped by the All Blacks. He's got one test. Hurricanes are top of the table. You have to be looking then at someone like him um, as a backup. Pedro Feta has been playing out of his skin as well when he has been playing. He's been injured the past couple of months or couple of weeks. So... It's tough, man. I like you, you want to say you don't want to say too much. You want to obviously bring your best players back, but you don't want to throw someone like Damien McKenzie under the bus here yeah, because he's been playing unreal. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Am I just a South African that doesn't know what he's talking about? I love talking about rugby, man. All Blacks would say it was almost my second team. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.